Well, since everyone else is getting in on the middleweight adventure bike bandwagon, Ducati couldn't resist jumping in as well. They will introduce their pre-production version of the new Desert X on December 9th and roll out the actual motorcycle in 2022. What do we know about it so far? Stay tuned for a short rundown of the new bike and as always feel free to support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. First, let's make one thing clear. This is not going to be the same bike as the concept that Ducati introduced in 2019 which was named the Ducati Scrambler Desert X. The concept bike was basically a Scrambler 1100 with some adventure bodywork. However, as a viable adventure bike it wouldn't work in today's competitive middleweight adventure market. It would be too heavy, too underpowered and too old school to update for the ever tightening emissions regulations. Air cooled motors don't have much time left. Ducati had to make a bike that would be more competitive with bikes like the BMW F850 GS and the Triumph Tiger 900. So Ducati dropped the Scrambler moniker and is going to build this middleweight adventure bike around the 937cc Testa Strata engine used in the Multistrada 950, the Hyper Motard and the Super Sport. Good choice. I've blasted around on the Hyper Motard with this engine and can report that it's plenty fun. Its biggest drawback is a difficulty with keeping the front wheel on the ground. The new engine will, of course, necessitate a new chassis to handle the extra power. Don't expect this bike to be as light as a Tenere 700 or a Prilia Touareg 660. The Multistrada 950 weighs 500 pounds wet and making the Desert X significantly lighter than that would significantly raise the price. Obviously, being a Ducati, you should expect premium quality and electronics at a premium price. But the bike still has to stay competitive with other premium adventure bikes in the class like the BMW and the Triumph. It will be pricey but can't be ridiculous. So given the fact that it may end up weighing in the neighborhood of 500 pounds, don't expect it to handle like a trail bike off-road. The picture Ducati released shows a 21-inch front wheel, so the bike is obviously aimed at riders who will do some off-roading. If you don't intend to do that, you're better off with the Multistrada. However, expect off-road performance to be somewhere in the neighborhood of its competitors. On the road, with that engine and Ducati's extensive suite of electronic aids, it should be very competent indeed. The road version of the engine provides a big hit of power up top. And if Ducati doesn't retune it too much for this model, the Desert X may be the quickest middleweight adventure bike on pavement. Other design cues? Don't expect that cool looking rear shock off the 2019 concept to stay in the same place. That's a scramblerism that will probably be changed in the new frame. Still, this new bike will probably be gorgeous and purposeful looking. Admittedly, I don't know any more about it at this time, but I'll definitely be tuning in to the unveiling on December 9th. My best guess is that it will be the best performing middleweight adventure bike on the road and will be decent off-road but still behind bikes like the Tenere 700 and the KTM 890 Adventure R. So the fall is shaping up to be an exciting time in adventure motorcycling. There's a new Triumph Tiger 1200 coming, maybe a new BMW R1300 GS, an Aprilia Touareg 660, the Husqvarna Norden 901 and possibly even a new Honda Transalp. Check out my video on that. And now Ducati is getting in on the action as well. Which bikes are you most interested in? Does this Desert X sound like the type of bike you'd pick up? Share your thoughts in the comments and happy adventuring. If you're interested in any of the gear that Brooke and I wear or use or the camera equipment we use to film this channel, the links are below. Everything listed there was bought with our own money and we are not sponsored by any company. However, the links below are affiliate links and the channel is paid a small amount for referring you to shop at no additional cost to you. We do not recommend any products that we are not satisfied with ourselves, but we do strongly urge you to do your research and select the correct size for items like helmets and clothing. As always, thanks for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And whatever you ride, enjoy it. Wave at other bikers no matter what they're riding, we're all part of a brotherhood and sisterhood. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up, and may the spokes be with you.